Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, we're going to talk about the difference between distance and displacement. So let's say there's a number line and I start right over here at position zero. Now, let's say I move, say, five meters to the right. And then after that, I moved 10 meters to the left. And then I decided to move seven meters to the right again. So that puts me right over here. Now, if someone were to ask you, how far did I move? Would you say 22 meters? Or would you say two meters? Well, this problem can be interpreted both ways, actually. You can say 22 meters because I did five meters, then 10 meters, and then seven meters. So five plus 10 plus seven, gives me 22 meters. But then you can think and say, well, after moving all around, I kind of just ended up at this position again, which is just two meters away from where I started. Now, the discussion between which of these answers is correct is related to distance versus displacement. If someone asked what distance I traveled, you would say 22 meters. So this is distance. And then if someone asked what displacement I traveled, you would say two meters. So this is displacement. Now, uh, another way to interpret it is that distance is the total sum of all movement, while displacement is just the net movement. So another example would be um, if this is our start point and this is our end point. Let's say I took a path that looks something like this. Now, obviously, this is a, you know, a really convoluted way to get from the start to the end point. But, you know, if that's the, the, uh, the distance I, I decided to travel, that would be it. But what's my displacement? My displacement is just from start to end. It's a straight line. So... Uh, one important note between distance and displacement is that distance is just a value. I can say I traveled 22 meters, I traveled 5 meters, anything like that. Displacement, on the other hand, displacement is both a um, distance and a direction. So I can say I traveled 2 meters to the right in the above example. I can say I traveled 10 meters east, for example displacement always has a direction. Since displacement has both a magnitude and a direction, we can say that this is a vector. And since distance just has a magnitude, we call it a scalar. Now, uh, let's try let's try a couple more examples. So let's say I have a circle right over here, and this is my start point. Now I'm going to start and I'm going to go all the way around the circle and I'm going to end up right back here where I started. So this is also my end point. Uh, let's say this circle has a radius of two meters. So then if I were to ask what my distance and what my displacement were, well, my distance, I traveled around the perimeter of the circle, which is just circumference. So that would be 2 pi r, or 2 pi times 2, or 4 pi meters. My displacement, however, well, how far did I end up from where I started? I, I, I ended up where I started, right? So my displacement would be 0 meters, because it's as if I didn't even move at all. Now, one more example. Let's say... I travel north, uh, uh, let's say I traveled north 300 meters, and then after that I traveled east, say 400 meters. Once again, we'll figure out what my distance was and what my displacement was. My distance we can say is uh, that should be a 300, is 300 plus 400 meters, so 700 meters. But my displacement is just the straight line from where I started to where I ended. So in this case, 
this would be my displacement. And if you notice, this would just end up being a right triangle, kind of like a three, four, five triangle. So it's gonna be 500 meters as my displacement, 500 meters, and then we could say that's kind of, you know, uh, northeast uh, because we need the direction there. So I hope this video helped explain the difference between distance and displacement. If you have any questions, let me know. And as always, happy studying. If you found this video helpful, please take a second to hit the like button or comment down below. If anything in this video was unclear, or if you had a question about any other topic, please don't hesitate to comment it or send it to me in a message and I'll do my best to answer it for you. Thanks for your support and happy studying.